Hello, everybody. This is Andrew, and I'm joined here with Chris. Yo. And we're from the otakuspirit.com website. Uh, today, we are unboxing the Congo half damage version from Max Factory and distributed by Good Smile Company. This is a uh, 1 8 scale figure. Uh, she just recently released here in the uh, uh, beginning of this year, 2015. I kind of picked her up late, but thankfully, she was still in stock over at Amiami. There was a little bit of problem with getting her shipped, but I managed to get her grouped up with my Amiami purchase, so definitely the shipping wasn't that bad, um, but I'm glad I picked her up just because she turned out to be an amazing figure. She but yeah, is gorgeous. She definitely got that gorgeous aspect. I think we've already mentioned before as we did the unboxing for uh, the Nindroid, which you can see in the video here. Came into the show, uh, Ken Kali, Kentai Collection, the animated series that they released in winter 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely has some mixed feelings about her wrath the bat but definitely fell in love with her uh big sister attitude i don't yeah. think that the i don't think the figure kind of matches her character design fully but it definitely has all the characteristics that are required kind of have a no bookie aspect in my yeah. mind i see her. i i want to i, I want to hear no bookie <laughs> no I, I i hated her at first and then i absolutely fell in love with her at that and that scene was absolutely the complete turning point for her i i was growing to like her but that that scene just made made me fall in love with her and i was i was done i yeah you can't make me hate her and of course the other scenes like the battlefield scene come and have her come in and save the day she's mm -hmm. awesome i want to kind of point out the, the thing i'm kind of point out here is i almost thought that her her left leg was the paint was scarred but that's actually uh intentional damage it's a tear in her nylons it's one of the, the the dangerous things about the aspect of getting this figure is the fact that it's a half damage quote unquote is in the in the course of the game itself uh kanti collection you have these each of the characters are their own units in a field and when they get damaged their their art style, style changes and they're half damaged or whatever uh, which is something that gave us a, a quite a scare going into the animation thinking that the animated series was going to be really etchy but it turned out to not to be um but it was mainly because of the aspect of being half damaged but <laughs> it in a figure itself it makes you go oh is this a, a flaw or is this a flaw no they're they're just marks like on her arm oh my gosh is that a flaw no that's that's actually a tear or a cut and then you get really sad because you know that she's she's hurt. But yeah, just a just a gorgeous figure. She doesn't have a lot of detail in her. Um, I like the like we mentioned before the the damage aspects, each of the little cuts and bruises, the 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 burn marks on the skirts. All those elements are very well done. A lot of detail in her, and just even the the, the changes in the skin tones are are really well done. She does come with a, a decent base. I don't I don't want to say it's a bad base. It is a semi-plain base we've had a lot of problem with figures come with just a plain black base or something like that this is more of a a grid like to kind of match with the the game itself which is grid based but it does have that grid element of it what do you call it like a water grid kind of layout Hex, hexagon hexagonal layout kind of thing um and also has her her completely damaged uh vessel that she has behind her which looks also looks pretty cool i also like how if you kind of see the the vessel from a certain angle you can see each of one of the uh the layers of the inside of this ship itself i mean you get down to the the the, the finite details of how this ship itself that's behind her is down to the details which is i think really awesome to have an extra element to her be have so much work put into it it looks really really awesome so even though you can kind of pose her separate from the ship, she still looks, the ship itself looks really amazing. I think goes well with her. So now as if I put the base with it, you kind of have to put the base with it because the ship doesn't really stand up right. Um, but they are, they're all separate entities. So you can kind of lay them out as you wish. Any, any final comments on her, Chris? Looks gorgeous. Oh, I guess I can, I guess I can mention the one weird aspect when I, when I w went to go order this uh, figure uh, a while back, one of the goofiest things I ran into was this one guy was unboxing it, and the one thing he mentioned was the weirdest thing I see in this figure that's so great is the fact that her her mouth is like a real mouth. It's it's a cavity, I guess you, is the best way to put it. And I'm like, you know what? I actually think that's one of the coolest things about it too. So I guess I'm weird too. We're weird together, kind of thing. 
but yeah, one of the weirdest, coolest aspect of her is that the fact that her too many figures that I've gotten, their mouth are just usually just a tongue, a colored tongue, and it's it's flat. It's not it's not an actual mouth, and they've actually went to the detail of making her have an actual mouth, and I think that was one of those attention details in this. That's weird, but it's it's really cool. So all those things added up. Even the fact that I want a standing up version of her in her battle pose, I'll take this. So we thank you all for listening and watching, and we hope you enjoyed all these pictures. Definitely leave us a rating, comment, and we thank you all for listening. Oh, Bye.